in the museum wing that bears its name, finally, Bluebird takes pride of place, 57 years after it crashed on the waters nearby, taking the life of the record breaker at the wheel. The journey back to Bluebird's spiritual home has been a long one, and thousands turned out along the way of this final leg. Its arrival in Coniston, in the Lake District, was emotional. I'm crying. Gina Campbell had promised it would return. Her father, Donald, is buried here. His adventuring spirit and the story of Bluebird still captivates locals. It was in January 1967, on an attempt to break the 300-mile-per-hour barrier, that Bluebird flipped and broke apart. The man who'd held records for the fastest on land and water was lost. It was 2001 that the wreckage of the hydroplane was recovered from the lake, along with the remains of Donald Campbell. The restoration and return to Coniston has been complex. The hall's been sat here since 2010, waiting uh, like a ring without a diamond. As I said before, you know, the sapphire is here anyway if it's not a diamond. So, yeah, I mean, the, uh, the centrepiece is now here. Bluebird has been back on the water since its restoration. That was in Scotland. The plan now is to run it on the waters of Coniston again. The first thing we want to do is let people see her. Um, you know, give her a, a few months in here, then we will look at a plan, but we need to speak to the authorities. But alongside the wreckage of that day, for now there is finally the chance for the public and the people of Coniston to get this close to Bluebird, the boat that meant so much to a man they still regard as an adopted son here has come home. Greg Milam, Sky News, Coniston.